You've heard of black holes, but have you heard of white holes? I want you to imagine a rubber sheet. Massive objects cause it to sag, and smaller objects naturally follow this curvature. This is the core of general relativity, that gravity isn't a force, but the result of objects moving along curved space. The Einstein field equations explain this rubber sheet behavior in four dimensions, three for space and one for time. One solution to these equations is the Schwarzschild solution, which not only predicts black holes, it predicts their opposite, white holes. This is because the math in general relativity is time symmetric, meaning the physics work whether time flows forwards or backwards. If you reverse the time in the math that predicts black holes, you get a white hole, an object that rejects everything that falls beyond its event horizon. Mathematically, general relativity allows both objects to exist. But while black holes form from collapsing stars, general relativity doesn't offer a convincing way for white holes to form. So do they really exist? Probably not.